everyone. My name is Iko Major and I am a junior at Oak Miss High School. And today I'm going to show you how I press flowers. So you should look for flowers that are super duper flat like daisies because those are the easiest to press. And make sure to watch out for bugs. Fun fact about me, I actually went to Bennett Woods. So shout out to you trailblazers. So first you're going to want to get some parchment paper. And you're just gonna wanna take a little bit. And then fold it in half. Like I did here. Now first, you're gonna wanna flatten out the flowers right when you get home so that they don't wilt or lose their color and you're gonna wanna get it super duper flat so that it gets the best results. And you're gonna wanna try and get as many as you can on the page and keep doing that until they're all flat. So once you're done putting all the flowers in parchment paper, like I have done here, you should throw away all of the leftover stems and find the biggest book in your house, something super duper heavy like this one, and then flip to the end and slide the paper sheets inside. And then now you just have to wait about two weeks and don't open the book or else it will dry. So here are some examples of wildflowers to look out for. Some Queen Anne's Lace, Daisies, Black Eyed Susans, Goldenrods, Consmidiums, and Rosin Weeds. And these are just the ones that have worked really well for me in the past. But you should always be on the lookout for some wildflowers to experiment with. So here are some projects you can do with pressed flowers. And you can be really creative and really make it your own. So you can make thank you cards for your parents and teachers, some letters to your friends and family, or even some really cute bookmarks. And these can be done really easily with some Mod Podge or some tape if you have it. So I hope you like and subscribe and try this at home and check out our awesome library and remember to keep reading and learning. Thanks for watching.